Guys, welcome back to the channel. And yes, in today's video, we're going to be talking a little bit more about some AI and specifically X's new AI uh, image generator called Grok and also the possible impact AI is going to have in scams in the future, right? So a few days ago, a friend of mine sent me two images and he was asking, hey, Alex, can you tell which of these two images is AI generated? And which one do you think is actually real? Now I'm going to show you the two images and I want you to be the judge. So this is going to be the very first image right here. Okay. You've got the Asian lady holding the piece of paper and now you've got the white lady in the second image holding similar piece of paper. So at least one of these images is AI generated, but can you tell which one it is? Again, this is the first image right here. Take a very, very good look. And now this is the second image. So which of these two do you think is actually fake? Well, if you said image number one was fake, you would be absolutely correct because this was AI generated. And if you said that this image number two is real, you would also be absolutely wrong because <laughs> this image was actually generated by AI as well. Both of them are a fake. Now, when I was asked the same question, I immediately could tell that image number one right here was fake because look at it. It's, it's so perfect, right? Her skin is so smooth. There are no spots at all. Look at the hair. It's all straight and it's completely black and it's just, it's just perfect in every way. Now the second image, in all honesty, the only reason why I could tell that this was AI generated was because I already had my guard up. My friend had said, Hey Alex, which of these two do you think is, is AI generated? So my AI senses, alarm senses were already triggered at that point. So when I looked at this image, I had to look very, very, very closely before I felt, you know what, this could be fake as well. Because think about it, right? Look at the face. It's not perfect like the first one in here. This, ha this face has no spots, no blemishes. It's just, it's just smooth, 100%. But now the second image right here, it's got those little dots on her nose. Do you see that? It makes it look a little bit more realistic. The only thing that might give away this image being a fake is the fact that also her skin is way too smooth, especially with like the fingers, the hand. And there is just something very odd about the finger right here. This particular one where she's got like the, the wedding ring, I believe. It just, there's just something about it that I can't explain. It just looks fake. I don't know why, but there's just something in my mind. I don't know, I don't know how to explain, it, but I can just tell that this is actually fake. But look at the face. This face looks real. It looks very, very realistic. At least the first one in here, this there's just something off. This looks like a cyborg, right? <laughs> there's just something off about the face. But the second one right here, this looks real. It looks very, very real. And in fact, there is also uh, a video. It's more like a GIF. Let me just quickly uh, show you. I'm going to play the video right here. So look at it right here. It's more like a GIF. So look at the very first uh, on top, right? That's the GIF, right? She looks real. She looks real. You will have to pay very close attention to tell that this is AI generated. Look at it again, right? She's all like, you know, blinking, smiling. Hi, you know, my name is Cindy. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make here is that if you think about it, this is... This is going to be terrible by AI standards a few years from now. We're still in the very early days of AI. Okay, these are still the very early days. Imagine how realistic the images and videos are going to be two, three, four years from now. This is just the beginning, folks. Okay, this is as, as bad as it gets. Like, I don't know if you're into gaming. I, I, I play video games a lot. Remember when the very first PlayStation came out? a very long time ago, how we were all blown away by the graphics and we felt, oh my gosh, gaming can't get any better than this. Now look at the graphics from the PS5 and compare them with the PS1, right? This is how you should be thinking. If you think this is very, very realistic, and in fact it is, just imagine how much more realistic the images are going to get a few years from now. It is really, really scary. Like, I'm, I'm terrified. I'm excited, but I'm also terrified at the exact same time. So, a question that I was asked is, okay, Alex, how, how do you think, you know, with the rise of AI 
generated content, both in you know, videos, images. How do you think that will have an impact on phishing and scams in general? Well, I believe that for a while, we're going to see a massive spike in the number of scam cases and phishing attacks using AI generated content. Because at the moment, most people, including myself, I don't think we've fully grasped just how powerful AI can be and is going to be. I don't think we've realized just how realistic the images and the kind of content AI will generate can be. I don't think we've fully understood it yet. We're still kind of getting used to seeing AI and people in general haven't really woken up yet, if I could use that term. We haven't fully understood the immense power of AI. So I think for a while, we're going to see plenty of scams, okay? People are going to be using AI to create uh, fake AI girlfriends and uh, OnlyFans content, which, by the way, is already happening, okay? It's already happening. You've got people subscribing to fake uh, AI models on uh, OnlyFans, and you've got, like, all these AI uh, women on Instagram getting, like, hundreds of thousands of followers because so, so many people are so, like, blind. They don't realize that, whole oh, this person is actually a fake. This is AI. So for a while, I think we're going to see like a massive spike. And then eventually, I think it's going to decline rapidly. Why? Because a lot of people are going to wake up. I think a lot of people are going to develop this sense of paranoia of, you know, they're going to become paranoid for good reason. So I think a lot of people are going to start to, to realize that, you know what? AI has become so powerful. Maybe I need to make sure that this person I'm talking to is actually a real person. I think a lot of people are going to become uh, very uh, suspicious by default. Eventually, okay, because we're going to see so many cases of scams and phishing. And I think there's going to be like this general social awareness campaign from the media, from websites and so on. I think a lot of people are going to eventually wake up and realize that, you know what, AI has become so powerful. So before I send that person money or I do something for that person, let me make sure that they're actually a real person I'm actually talking to. I'm not saying that uh, people eventually will not fall victim to AI scams, people still will. I mean, look at it today. Forget about AI for a second, okay? You still have people falling victim to all these old school uh, phishing scams on the internet, right? On all these dating websites. Some uh, scam artists will get images of some soldier, some American soldier fighting in, in Iraq or something. They will have like 10 pictures and then he'll send it to this lonely woman somewhere in the United States saying, hey, you know, my name is Bob. I think you're very attractive. I'd like to get to know you. And then the woman becomes all like, oh my gosh, this guy is real, blah, blah, she's not sending the money. I mean, despite the fact that this scam has been going on for decades, people are still falling victim to it till this very day. So I don't think that uh, in the future, people will not fall victim to, to AI uh, scams. They still will, but I just feel that we're going to have like a massive rise in the number of cases, and then it's going to fall and it will kind of like even out until maybe AI comes out with something new again or something like that. Okay, so we'll have just we'll just have to wait and see. But that's my general uh, take on the subject. Okay, I think that we will have a rise and then there's going to be a fall in the number of scam uh, cases involving AI. But it's terrifying. It's really really terrifying. But anyway, I'd love to hear what you guys think about uh, AI and just how much more realistic AI content will be in the future. And also the potential impact it's going to have when it comes to uh, cases like, you know, scams and phishing attempts and things like that. So I'd love to hear from you. Uh, put your comments down in the comment section below and I would love to read them. So if you have any questions or comments about today's video, of course, be sure to hit me up. If you're new here to the channel, welcome to Lab Server. I talk about cybersecurity and also AI as well. So if you like content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a video. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, share the video with anyone who may feel might benefit from it. And as always, stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time.